path i think you have to read the question it is moved along that particular specific path the da sold up and is having work done along that path here they mentioned path here they mentioned path along that path what is work done by the force i think you have to read the question you have just stick down to the abar dot s bar come out of that they have said that work done by the force along the path i think there's a lot of meaning is there huh? now question number 9 Okay, there are two forces are there. No, one radial force, other is tangential force. Like uh, earlier, what we had idea of this one. So work done taking the point from a comma zero to a comma pi by two. Mm. Uh, so again, it is something. A comma zero. A comma zero means it will be. So where is the point? Point A will be here. This is a point A. A comma zero. This will be point B. And there are two forces acting. One radial force, other is tangential force. So what is the radial force? The radial force will be in this direction. And the tangential force will be in this direction. Now let me show that this is a tangential force. the tangential force is what f theta the radial force is what f r <coughs> so what is the work done by this force when the particle is moved from this one so al along the particle is taken from point a on a circular path the path is this one i am not moving along ab i am i am making it to move along this path i am writing ds you must understand this is a path hmm, no so get into the so not x y axis here just to make you that it's a quarter circular we, we have taken this condition so there are two forces are there no one f tangential so what is the f f tangential f tangential is what b sin theta r cube e theta cap work done by it will calculate work done by the tangential force what should be the ds so i am going to write you, you try to see things clearly here f theta ds no because how the force force will be acting tangentially here f theta i am showing it so it, it should be understood the force will act tangentially here so f theta into ds so substitute this this should be b sin theta but we don't know theta and ds we can't integrate so what is ds ds equal to r d theta theta you define so ds equal to r d theta so b sin theta d is equal to r d theta now what should be the limit when i move from a to b the theta will vary from 0 to pi by 2 no so here i'll put suitable limit so b r square integral of sin theta d theta and what is r r is equal to a square only the radius is r at this r is i think this everything i'll get 1 no this will be integral of sin theta minus cos theta 0 to pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 so this will be b by a square similarly let's go for work done by the 
this is work work done by the tangential force work done by the radial force work done by the radial force fr ds so everywhere how fr will be acting What is FR? FR is given B cos theta by R cube. DS is R d theta. Zero to pi by two. Now, uh, will you agree this? Shall I integrate substitute limit or something? I'm missing anybody. Something is missing. No, you'll get non-zero. But how that force FR will be everywhere, every time it'll be acting normal to the path. So here, cos ninety is what I should write. This cos ninety from y it has come. The angle between FR and DS bar. FR will be normal to the displacement. So therefore, there is no need of anything. Just you write it here. The next step you write it equal to zero. Okay, got this one. Why this cos ninety? Because everywhere FR will act perpendicular. So what is the net work done? So the net work done, what we can write it is W theta plus W R. So there should be <coughs> so different types of forces will come. It so as as far as physics is concerned, what happens? We should bother about what. What actually going on? Not just like some integrate or substitute limit. We must analyze. These diagrams are very important. Shall I, I'll scroll down? Anybody taking screenshot? Take screenshot. Yeah, now this is one good question I'm giving. So some centrifugal force, no? So that that we are analyzing now. 